everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is how we can use the OPC UA server on the Modicon M241 or M251 using the securities. So let's go to the software. In the previous video, we have seen how we can set the OPC UA without any securities at all, and we managed to communicate with the controller. So what we can do now is to just delete this connection on the OPC UA expert. And now let's do this. We have already set everything, which variables and the PLC Ethernet um, port, okay, the settings. So what we need to do now is to configure the securities. So if we go to the device tree and open my controller, okay, and if we go to OPC UA server configuration, we have this disable anonymous login. And here we have user credential managed by the user person groups, which are this one over here, which are the ones that I have already configured on this device. The one that you are used in order to log in. In my case is LTA is LTA. It's the same in this case. So there we go. So I'm going to disable this. Okay, so if I disable the anonymous, even if I already added, it's just not going to work. So in order to change the user groups, I've already made a video how to make the changes on the user groups. You can do it from here and add or go to the settings in order to add new equipment, new devices, online, security. Here you can add more users. So I already made the change from the OPC to disable the anonymous. So let's go to the controller and make the connection. So I haven't changed anything on the POUs, just the configurations. So in this case, I need to log in again and make a full download. So this configuration of disable anonymous are valid. Okay, and go. So Let's try to add the same connection that I had before. This one, as you can see here now, uh, let's try to use this one, which is the previous one that we added, which is the anonymous, as you can see here, anonymous. Okay, so if I try to connect to this one, you can see over here, oops, uh, the anonymous is not valid for this case and we need to use our uh, security so let's delete this connection add a new one so this one is the same that we had before but it recognizes that i need some credentials so we're going to use let's try to delete it so you can see how it's going to work with the new one so it's going to be the ip address 2.1 the port 40, which is the one that we have configured before over here 4080 uh, 4840 okay so as soon as we add this we should be able to see the OPC UA server and what it asks so the credentials is going to be LTA store LTA which is the credential that I use in order to log into the controller okay and connect. Okay, ignore. And you can see over here that the variables are already in once again. Okay, you can see here now if I open the OPC UA and the software, once again, the software that we have used in the previous video. Okay, that this is going to change. So, humidity is going to be 95. Okay, and you can see here how it changed literally into here. So, if I change again the 12, you can see here how it changed. And now, if I change higher than 22.3, it will activate the alarm so I can see the indication. So, it's going to be 32. So you can see it's true and it changed. 
okay so this is how you can use the security using the same credentials that you have on the controller okay so imagine now that i'm going to add a new one so um, i'm going to log into the controller and i'm going to add a new uh, user that's going to be administrator administrator so uh here online security i device user in the group administrator administrator and it's going to be administrator we just copy this just in case administrator 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 i need to administrator administrator is okay perfect so I have add a new user here. So if I add a new user, I'm going to disconnect, delete this one, add a new one. So I'm going to remove, remove this and add again and use the administrator. One, uh, one, 40, okay. Here, this one store administrator so let me start again administrator okay so if i connect to this one <laughs> security mode okay no problem no probably need to change some of the parameters in that part you can see now that i have access with this once again if i change this to 42 it changed over there and it works fine once again and basically that's it and just to show you that this also works when i use a different credentials okay remove and uh, so i'm going to use um la 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 store uh whatever okay okay and connect As you can see over here there is no, the, the validation of the credential is not correct okay and we need to use the right ones in order to connect and read information so this is how you can use the opc ua server on the m251 or m241 using the credentials that we have stored on the controller so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one